Hello everyone, my name is Odette Chopin and I'm a senior platform architect for Pivotal. Today I want to talk to you about the power of platform automation and how it allows you to truly have a software-defined data center that can be recreated at will. I'm going to give a quick demo that would start with an installation of Pivotal Cloud Foundry that was created using platform automation pipelines in Concourse. So as you can see here on the right, I already ran this pipeline once. Everything is marked as green. The pipeline starts with an installation of Ops Manager, exporting an installation, upgrading Ops Manager if needed, uploading a bunch of tiles from Pivotal Application Service to PKS, Redis, etc., and configuring each one of these tiles as required. Then it continues to upload stem cells, which are the base operating system for these tiles, and then it applies the changes. On the left, we can see the final installation. As you can see, we have various tiles installed, including Pivotal Application Service, Pass for Windows, Enterprise PKS, which starting at version 1.4 can be installed alongside PaaS on the same Ops Manager as well as Harbor, RabbitMQ, Redis, and additional services. Here we can see Apps Manager up and running. The platform is fully functional. I even deployed a few applications to one of these spaces, and I created some services like MySQL and Eureka Service Registry. Moving to the next tab, we can see VMware, Harbor, Docker Registry. By the way, the whole platform is using SSL certificates that are installed with Let's Encrypt. And here we see HealthWatch reporting the current status of the entire platform. Lastly, we can take a quick look at Jenkins and see that it's also up and running. So the entire platform is really fully operational and ready for workloads. Taking a quick look at the pipeline itself, as you can see, it's just standard YAML. There are no credentials or secrets in the YAML itself. In fact, the entire pipeline is stored in a public GitHub repository and all the secrets are saved into CredHub. Now, if indeed this platform was created from a fully automated process, I should in theory be able to demolish the platform with all of its tiles, with Bosch, with Ops Manager, even destroy the networking stack that was created initially using Terraform, and then completely recreate it from scratch. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and do now. So I begin with running this command, which is a very risky command, so only admins can really have access to it. It's called OM delete installation. OM is the command line interface for Ops Manager. So I'm going to run this. And now Ops Manager is just going to go over all of these tiles and just delete them completely. And at the last step, it's going to delete the Bosch directory itself that manages the platform. So this will take a few seconds. I'll use the incredible magic of YouTube and speed the process up. and the changes have been applied. Going back to the main screen of Ops Manager, we can see that nothing is installed and even the Bosch Director is currently unconfigured. But I wanna take it a step further and also delete Ops Manager itself. So I'm going to run a gcloud command because I'm running this on GCP and I'm going to delete the VM and the disk that hold Ops Manager. And as we can see now, there is no Ops Manager VM installed at all. Here I'm trying to load Ops Manager and there is no response. If I'll move on to Ops Manager, again, no response. Harbor, there is no response. 
Although she's unresponsive and Jenkins is unresponsive. So the entire platform has been deleted. As we can see here in GCP, we can see we only have just a handful of VMs that hold my concourse installation. So as a last step, I also want to destroy the subnets and networking stack that was initially created using Terraform. And that has been completed. So now I really have a fully clean environment which isn't holding anything related to the platform we saw just two minutes ago. I'm even going to delete the pipeline that created the platform by using the destroy pipeline command. And as you can see now, my pipeline is also deleted from concourse and we can now begin the restoration process. So for that, I'm going to run a pretty long command but it's actually pretty simple if you look at it. So it begins with a Terraform init and Terraform apply changes. It continues with setting a few secrets and parameters into the cred hub that is attached to my concourse. And it concludes with actually running the pipeline and unpausing it. So this is running right now. It begins with initializing the basic networks and subnets and firewall rules using Terraform. It set a few credentials in CredHub and it recreated the pipeline. So in a few seconds, I'm going to see the pipeline running here again. Here it is. As you can see, it's all grayed out right now because nothing really executed yet. And after a few seconds, it's going to start processing. There it is, Ops Manager is beginning the installation, followed by export, etc. So again, I'm going to use the magic of YouTube and speed up this process, which could take quite a while. It is still installing an entire platform for you. Once the upgrade Opsman command has been Concluded, we can go and check if we have Ops Manager up and running again as before. So I will go back to the browser and try to refresh the URL while the installation continues in the background. And as we can see, we have Ops Manager available again. We can, I'll just go back to the main domain name we can see that it's configured, Bosch directory is already installed, and we even got back our SSL certificate that was set beforehand because the pipeline takes care of that as well. And again, right now behind the scenes, it is uploading tiles, it is configuring them. Let's give it a few seconds to run. If we refresh as it goes along, we can see that we already have a few of the tiles uploaded and configured, but we are still missing stem cells, which are the base operating system. That is because uploading of stem cells is the last step before applying changes on the right hand side. Let's check again. Yeah, we definitely have more tiles uploaded and configured. Still no stem cells uploaded for any of the tiles.
And now the upload has completed and we move on to uploading the stem cells. So I will refresh as it uploads in the background and we can see that missing stem cells are being placed where needed. And everything works and we move to apply changes. All that is left to do now is sit back and enjoy the show. And our installation is complete. We can see all the tiles in green. Let's open Apps Manager again and check that the platform is indeed up and running. And here it is, fully functional. If we go to the marketplace, we can see that all of our services from before are available. If we refresh Harbor, we'll see the login screen. So that's installed as well. If we'll go to Jenkins and refresh that. We see the login screen. And as a last step, we'll let's check HealthWatch. And that's responsive as well. So we restore the entire platform through automation. If we refresh here in GCP, we can see a whole bunch of VMs that were added during this pipeline. And everything is green. So as a last step in this demo, I want to show you but there is another pipeline behind the scenes called Fetch Artifacts. That's the one responsible for downloading the files from Pivnet. And one of them here, RabbitMQ, has failed. And if I'll go in and check why, we can see that I need to accept the EULA agreement for this particular new version that was released. This pipeline checks a few hours, every few hours, if there is a new version. And this is a new one that I have yet to accept. So if I'll click Accept here, and go back to concourse, I will, I can run this tile again. And once this is completed, everything is green here and automatically my main pipeline triggered the process that uploads the stem cell for this new version and also uploads the new RabbitMQ tile. Once the upload is complete, I can continue to configure the tile itself. And we're done. Now in this particular pipeline, I opted not to automatically apply the product changes. And I thought what would be a nice way to complete this demo. And if anyone follows me on Twitter, you probably know that I really like my shiny Apple Watch. So if I already have it, why not use it to upgrade my platform? Hey Siri, apply changes.